Everyone is familiar with the feeling of being alone at night and sensing that something isn't quite right. The feeling that you're being watched. It can be scary to think about who might be lurking in the shadows at night. Today, we will dive into the world of a man who has been documenting this disturbing scenario happening to him for several years now. Jeff Richards has been collecting video evidence of an unwelcome neighbor creeping around his home at all hours of the night, continuing to engage in strange behavior. Trust me when I say, this goes deeper than you might think. And make sure to stick around to the end because I did a lot of digging and at the end I reveal information more up to date than literally anyone will be able to provide you right now. On September 30th, 2017, a YouTube channel called Jeff Richards uploaded a video titled Creepy Neighbor Caught on Security Camera. This will be the first of many videos uploaded documenting these events, with the final video being posted in 2021. In a lot of these videos, the footage we are seeing of this man seems relatively innocent. We just see a man walking at night, doing nothing of note. He stays to his side of the fence, and the appearances he makes are brief. Other times, he seems to be outside looking for something. Although, strange that it is consistently happening between the hours of 2 to 4 a.m., it's nothing too crazy. And some of Jeff's earlier viewers point this out, but this is only the tip of the iceberg, as hinted by Jeff's reply of, watch all the videos. As we continue to watch more videos, the behavior of the man in question becomes increasingly suspicious. The neighbor seems to be interested in Jeff's property, as he repeatedly peeks over the fence, leaving us unsure of what he's looking for. In other videos, we see that the man has a gun, and although he's only using it to hunt birds, this knowledge, along with the rest of the videos, did not sit well with the viewers. And the videos take a downright unnerving turn when the neighbor starts to notice the camera and interact with it. It starts with him just giving the camera a creepy smile before he eventually starts to interact further through disrupting the camera by shining a light into it, as if telling him, I see you. You'd think this would hint at the neighbor to knock it off, but it only seems to create frustration as later on he even starts flipping off the camera. The eerie nature of the recordings brought in a small audience who wanted to see exactly where this would go. As people who watch channels like mine, I'm sure you might suspect that this could be some sort of ARG or something, and that was one of my initial thoughts too. But I know for a fact that is not what this is. It has none of the typical signs of an ARG like puzzles or leading us down some sort of clear storyline. It all remains very consistent and truly feels like someone just documenting a creepy situation. Eventually, we learn a bit more backstory about this from Jeff himself in the comment section. In the video, Creepy Neighbor Caught on Security Camera number 4, Jeff leaves a comment revealing something that really takes us up a notch. He writes, He's done creepy shit for the past 30 years. Back when my kids were young, 6 and 8, I caught him taking pictures of them alongside the house. As neighbors would walk or drive by, he would jump out of his garage and either grab his junk or flip people off. He rides his bike to a nearby park and watches children. Just last summer, he was riding his bike and exposed himself to a mother and two kids. Because there were no pictures, it was a he said, she said situation. Going by this, this neighbor's actions go way beyond his nightly strolls. In another comment, Jeff says he reported him to the police in the city, but nothing gets done. He hopes that by using the cameras, he can catch him breaking the law and have proof. As the channel continued to attract viewers, people became more invested in the situation. Many contributed their own theories, suggesting he was sleepwalking, or drunk, or maybe had dementia. In the video, Creepy Neighbor Caught on Security Camera at 1.57am, a commenter who claimed to be a technician spooked everyone with his theory on what the man was looking for each night. He says, He's looking at a possible area of buried line. Does he have hidden cameras in your home? I dig in the area he's looking at and see if you find a camera line and report it along with the video evidence you have here. This did not seem to be the case, as there was never any follow-up on this. In 2020, the interactions on Jeff's channel started to pick up, and at first, I couldn't really figure out why. Until I started noticing comments like, prepare for your view count to go way up. 
This new viewership was apparently coming from a video that Chills made back at that time, where he briefly talked about this channel in a countdown list. Number 10. Jeff Richards has a neighbor that he thinks is creepy, and here's why. Although not many details were really revealed from this, what it did bring was a bunch of new people who were eager for updates. One user left a comment with a long string of updates regarding what they have seen since they started following this. The first thing they wrote was that the neighbor moved away and Jeff is safe now. They claim to have heard this through a comment from Jeff himself. I know this is not true since I was able to find the home seen in the video on Google Maps and this verifies that the neighbor did not move away. This car in the driveway is the same car that belongs to the neighbor, as we can see from one of Jeff's videos. And this Google Maps picture was taken two years after this comment was made, so that debunks this claim. In a later update, this user says that Jeff actually deleted that comment and assumes that Jeff is dead. Believe it or not, this is actually a theory that a lot of people believed since there was a period of time where Jeff wasn't uploading. This claim is shut down with a comment from Jeff saying, I'm fine. There's a renewed interest by the local police. All the neighborhood is aware of his activities. Also, the local police are monitoring my YouTube videos as well. There were also a few theories about all this being some sort of setup or prank, but I know for a fact that is also not the case, for reasons we will get to in a moment. The new attention didn't stop Jeff from uploading, and to a degree, I feel like it might have even encouraged it. Jeff was welcoming to his new viewers, saying things like, I'm sure there will be more, stay tuned. It's also important to note that it never really felt like Jeff was actually too scared by any of this stuff. In many of his videos, he would make taunting comments about his neighbor, and in one video, he even shows us a clip of his neighbor in front of his house showing plumber's crack, writing, zoom in and tell me what you think. I don't necessarily blame him for some of these comments, as his frustration toward the neighbor is understandable. One of the reasons for his lack of fear could be explained by this comment Jeff made, saying, my neighbor may be creepy, but he knows I am a firm believer in the Second Amendment and knows not to cross that line with me. In 2021, another interesting development was made that sheds a lot more light on this. Someone named Joanna Whitmarsh left a comment saying she was interested in using some of his videos for a TV show she was working with. Jeff followed up with her. I wanted to get in contact with Whitmarsh to learn more about where she used this, but I was disappointed to discover that the email she listed no longer works. I wasn't just going to give up here though. I looked more into Joanna Whitmarsh and found that, at the time she made this comment, she was involved with a TV show on a and &E called Neighborhood Wars. The show covers videos of dramatic interactions between neighbors in the suburbs, so I figured it was pretty likely this is the show that Jeff Richards made an appearance on. But there were a lot of episodes that I did not want to comb through. So after a lot of digging, I was finally able to find a way to contact Whitmarsh, hoping she could just direct me to the exact episode. Okay, so Joanna Whitmarsh finally called me back. I missed the call, but she left a voicemail, and she basically said uh, that she licensed like thousands of videos over the years and doesn't really remember what I'm talking about. But she did confirm that the uh, clip was probably used in Neighborhood Wars, but she obviously didn't know which episode, so unfortunately I think I'm going to have to go through every episode and watch it till I find it. So uh, this could take a while, but I'm going to find it, so. Luckily, it didn't take me too long. The episode Jeff Richards appeared in was Season 1, Episode 10. This is Jeff Richards, and in the episode, we get to hear more about the situation directly from him. We have caught him lurking in the side of the house at late hours of the night. I used to smoke, and when I'd go out there, he'd be just hanging out on our side of the house, and things would be missing, and then is when we put the fence up. So apparently, this fence was actually put up in response to the neighbor's creepy behavior. It wasn't already there. Jeff also talks about what would happen whenever he confronted the neighbor. Throughout the years, I have confronted him on this, and sometimes he runs and recluses, and other times he will just start yelling. Nothing's ever been physical, but he has threatened me, and I call the police on several different occasions just to get it on the record. I felt pretty satisfied with finding this, but I still wanted more. I wanted to actually speak with Jeff myself. This is probably the most difficult part of researching this whole thing. There was no contact information on his YouTube channel, nor links to anything else. But I pulled through, and after a long while, I finally found a way to get in touch with him. He was kind enough to agree to do an interview with me about the situation, and update us with what has happened since. Without further ado, here's our interview. 
Hi, Hello? is Jeff? Yes, it is. Must Great. Eric. Yes, it's Eric. Perfect. How uh, you doing? I'm good. How are you? Very good, thank you. Yeah, this shouldn't take uh, any more than uh, 15, 20 minutes or so. Uh, sure. Yeah, if, if anything you don't want to answer, just let me know, or if you want any of this to like be cut out of the video, let me know that too. Um, but yeah, let's just jump right into it. So uh, the first thing I wanted to ask was, how did, uh, well, when and how did all this stuff begin? Uh, like, when did this guy start all this? When did he decide to set up the cameras? All of that. Okay, yeah, it's a long process of all these accounts happen. We moved in here about 34, 35 years ago. Um, and he was the neighbor at the time. And so, you know, I didn't know who he was. We were very, uh, trying to be very neighborly uh, with him. And, uh, you know, soon after, he found out the guy was a little bit off, a little different. And then um, he would just start doing, just doing things like lurking on the side of the house at night. I used to smoke, and I'd go out to have a cigarette. And um, he'd be just hanging around there, and then things would disappear on the side of the house. He'd leave his hose running so it would flood our side of the house, you know, in our part of the yard. It would get kind of flooded and um, just things like that. So I started to confront him. <clears throat> and uh, um, he just got kind of weird, worse and worse and worse. And, and uh, so when I confront him, uh, he always explode. I explode at him. And then he'd kind of recluse for a couple of months, you know, because I'd call him on the things that he would do. You know, some of the bigger things were at one point, the first, you asked, you asked about when the cameras went up. Well, the fence went up first. Um, and that was after we had just uh, got through. Um, getting all the leaves up, mowing the yard, getting everything cleaned up. And he was blowing all of his leaves into our yard. So my wife confronted him <laughs> and asked him what he was doing. And he just blew up and all this uh, profanity and filth, this sexual perversion came out of his mouth. And at that point, we had a, a fence put up about a week later. He was pissed because we put a... a uh, a fence up there when our kids were smaller they he tried to intimidate them and things like uh there was one point he'd jump out of his garage and grab his package and jump back in his garage and he did that to several neighbors uh, as early as a year not this last summer but the summer before he'd ride his bike with real short shorts and then he was up around the corner and um his package fell out and didn't fall out. He did it to expose the wife of a police officer up there and in front of the kid, but the, he's actually a South St. Paul police officer. So he called a friend in, in our community and came out and he says, well, without pictures or cameras, you know, you, you, um, you really can't do anything about it it's your word against his and i know he's a he's an alcoholic he'll sit all day drinking beer and <clears throat> whatever and i'm sure he's got mental disabilities but that's still no excuse to be a type of person that he is yeah no definitely um, not so i guess the cameras were set up to try to uh so, catch so him the, in the act yeah exactly we went out and bought the arlo um security cameras and put them up <laughs> and then it all started where he'd go out there and and you saw the videos and in, in on um neighborhood wars which i think is kind of funny that you know i just threw him out there and hopefully that he would see him and be a deterrent to keep him from doing the things he is but he could and used to do it and i have contact with the police and the police keep saying well you know unless you um have any kind of evidence there's not really anything we can do and that even goes for twice he um threatened he was going to kill me and uh i've got the police involved and at this point whenever he does it i just call the police and say i just want to make a note in case something happens he's threatened me again yeah. so it's in their in their records so mm -hmm. so after the <laughs> stuff started getting more popular like covered by neighborhood wars and some youtubers and stuff did the neighbor ever find out about these videos being uploaded? You know, I, I don't know. Uh, I told him, I said, hey, I said, you're getting pretty popular on, on the Internet. You know, and I said, uh, um, and he just kind of blows it off or comes back with his derogatory comments. So I told him, I mean. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know if he's seen it or not, but I, he knows that I told him. 
Okay, that's crazy. It's <laughs> okay. So uh, yeah, it, I guess, it is really weird. Yeah. Huh? So so now the one thing that I mean I'm sure all of us want to know is what's happened since? Because it's been I think a couple years since you posted your last video. So are there any updates so, since then? So yeah, I've got some more videos, but they're all pretty much the same. He goes out in the side of the house in the middle of the night with his his uh, flashlight on his forehead and looking around and. He'll, he'll uh, <clears throat> flip off my camera, and, and he, he does it in waves. Like, it's been a, quite a long time, probably six months a year before he, you know, since he had made his rounds around the house in the middle of the night. And then just recently, now he just started up uh, again on a pretty regular basis where about 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, he'll be out walking around the side of his house. I just haven't posted him yet. I've been kind of busy. <laughs> I see. So it's still going on even today. That's crazy. Oh yeah, even today. Yeah. So there's never been any physical, but um, he just uh, I, I I don't know why he just can't he just can't stop himself. I guess. Yeah. Huh. All right. Well, yeah. That's all I have for you. Um. Thank you so much for coming on. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, okay. I hope I hope that this gets better. I really do. So there you have it. Till this day, the neighbor is still keeping up this creepy behavior. There may be more videos on Jeff's channel in the future, but I genuinely hope the situation gets better. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the flip side.